only the winners of the tournament, top students at Valkyrie, and the top wealthy families from the magic world were invited to the dinner portion of the evening. The rest of the evening was open to all Hollowbrook High seniors, top families, and all students at Valkyrie University. And of course, the Devarling Council was invited for as long or as little as they could spare. I hadn't seen them arrive, not yet at least, but they had just started announcing the top magic families as I sat down. Now welcoming our special guests, the Everest family. The Hannigan family. The Allison family. You were almost late. Yeah, the where Pleasure were you? Family. My corset was more time consuming than I thought. <laughs> Asked you if you needed any help and you said no. <laughs> Didn't think I'd need help. <laughs> the Hawthorne family. I noticed as they announced the Hawthorns that it was only Griffin and his father. I wondered what had happened to his other parent, the assumingly a mother. The Wolfhart family. The Kallstrom family. The Chow family. The Katzman family. The Young family. And the Eldridge family. Now, let's eat. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be It won't leave My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written in the sky It's another lie Remember you were me Oh no The doctor says take some pills But this is not how it's supposed to feel Upside down and in and out I guess I have to take a break Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written dinner they opened the ballroom to the rest of those who were invited. Families from all over the world asked the Valkyrie students to dance. Miss Tyra Calstorm, may I have this dance? Uh, uh. I know 
noticed one of the Shalstroms were still on the side of the dance floor. Everyone had been asked to dance except for one, the youngest from the looks of it. She seemed scared. Excuse me. E yes Would you like to dance? Uh, um, sh sure. My name is Junie, by the way. Junie Nightwood. I'm Vilma Shellstrom. Pleasure to meet you, Vilma. So, uh, where are you from? The magic city of Vauxhall, off the coast of Stockholm, Sweden. What long journey do you took to come tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Just wondering, uh, what do you know about the DeBarling Council? Not a lot, but my parents know them. I've heard them talking before. Sorry if that wasn't helpful. No, 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 you're, you're good. I was just wondering. Regardless, I was... Oh. So sorry to interrupt you lovely ladies, but may I have a moment with Junie? Oh, no worries. If you have any more questions, Junie, let me know. Hello again, beautiful. Did she know anything? Nope. Her name is Vilma Shellstrom from Sweden. She seemed very sweet, but the only information she had about the council was that her parents had talked to them. Well, that's something at least. Wait, who's that? The council member just walked into that back room. You might be able to talk to them back there. If you can get in. Doesn't hurt to try, right? Exactly. We need to get to the bottom of the disappearances going on right now. Magic users and humans alike have been going missing all over. We must fix it. I understand the concern, and after everything that's happened with my late wife, I'm trying my hardest to figure this all out. From the looks of it, someone else with power has been kidnapping those who plan to spread our secrets. And instead of wiping their memories, they've been... Well, I'm not sure exactly. We need to figure this out. And soon, before panic arises. Is, is that what happened to my mom? I realized in that moment that I needed to explore further down the avenue of who may have taken my mother for knowing too much. I needed to become stronger. <laughs>